Hello, I would like to welcome you to this training. I know we are all staying at home right now in this current uh, coronavirus uh, lockdown. This is the second time that we are in a lockdown, unfortunately. You know, there are a lot of challenges that come with the lockdown and uh, and everybody is feeling the pinch. Um, not being able to leave home and go to work and fend for your family like you've been doing comes with a lot of challenges because, you know, when you're, when you're at home, you can't really go and do all the things that are necessary for you to earn an income, to be able to uh, take care of your family. And it really comes with, uh, with a lot of challenges. Uh, I was recently talking to a colleague of mine uh, with whom we studied and she was sharing with me that the COVID, uh, the coronavirus lockdown took her job. And she says she was doing um, tutoring, uh, primary school. But when the, the whole COVID um, the whole COVID and coronavirus lockdown came in, uh, she has not been able to resume her work uh, because of current situation. Because you cannot interact with the uh, students, you can't interact with the uh, learners um, because of the, the whole uh, social distancing and all the challenges that come with the COVID-19. Now... It got me thinking, and she was she was sharing, obviously. She said now she's staying at home, or she's relying on her parents. And I was asking her that, isn't there any other thing that she could do? Uh, I asked her whether she had tried to venture online and see whether she can find some opportunities uh, that enabled her to earn an income under the current circumstances. And she was she seemed optimistic, but uh, she didn't feel open to the idea. And, and just because she did not have a clear idea of the potential that the internet has, and maybe she has not gotten the, the right uh, information, she told me she would try. Uh, but uh, after our discussion, uh, I realized that as much as I would have wanted her to look for opportunities online i did not give her a, a clear understanding a clear picture of the actual opportunities that are available out there and that is why i decided to create this training to to just give insight to the opportunity that is available online to enable people that are out there people like you uh, who are actually listening to me and watching me right now to see the opportunity that is available online now i've titled this training become lockdown proof in three steps how to start your own online business and sell products in the comfort of your home now in order for you to get a lot of value from this training here's what i want you to do now if you have social media or if you have kids lying around the house uh, a lot of distractions here and there i need you to put them away i need to and uh, if you have a maid please tell your kids to i uh, please tell your maid to keep uh, stay with the kids outside there and lock yourself in a room somewhere because i need your undivided attention the things that i'm going to be sharing with you right now have the potential to change your life forever so it's very important that you really don't have any distractions uh, around. I'm going to need uh, about an hour and a half of your time to just give you to share this information, uh, things that I have learned with, with online business and, inter and manipulating and using the internet to earn an income for the last two years. And I believe, I, I, I have a strong belief that this information that you're going to learn is good. It could or it will. <laughs> change your life so i really need you to to t remove all the all the distractions turn off the tv lock yourself in a room somewhere where it's private and listen to everything that i'm going to be sharing in this training and i believe that if by any chance you do not get value from this training i promise i'll be sending you all your money back the payment that you made i will be sending you all your money back if by the end of this training you feel that you the money that you paid was not worth the value that i'm going to be giving you uh, send me a message on my whatsapp and ask me for for your, for your money and i'll and i'll refund you all your money back okay is, is that a, is that a good deal do you guys love the deal if you do not get enough value worth that amount of money that you spent with me uh, i'll send you all your money back okay so now De remove all your all the distractions um uh, tell the kids to sit somewhere in the sitting room and turn off the tv lock yourself in a private room somewhere because i need your undivided attention now you might be wondering um uh who is this guy why why why, <laughs> why is he shouting <laughs> why is he shouting the whole presentation you know um I, I really get excited every time i get opportunity to share these things that i have learned so please kindly bear with me um i know i'm i am so enthusiastic uh, that is my personality i get very excited when i share things that uh, uh, that i know that would be valuable to to people out there so who am i my name is george makasi 
Um, what can I really say? What do you really need to know about me? Now, George Makasi is an online entrepreneur. I've, I started my journey in online business in much, much, much earlier in 2014, 2015. I spent a lot of time on the internet trying to find solutions and trying to earn an income online. That is uh, back when I had just completed my certificate in science laboratory technology at Chambogo University. Now, when I completed my certificate, I was very enthusiastic because I knew that the course that I had done had the potential to change my life. I knew that if I had completed my science, technology, chemistry, I'm an expert and I'm a professional, I have some skills and I know that if I could get a job in an industry somewhere, I could earn a sustainable income. At least that was the plan. I knew that if I could advance further in my studies, maybe do my diploma, do my bachelor's degree, I would become this expert in my field and I would be on demand. <laughs> so that was the perspective that I had for my life and that was the goal that I had for my life. But uh, everything changed when I completed my certificate and I couldn't find a job anywhere. I couldn't find a job anywhere. I was so underqualified and uh, every time I, I would take my, my papers to an industry somewhere, they say, ah, go back and uh, and add some papers and things like that uh, and I got discouraged um, but uh, what I did after encountering all these challenges I started to explore the other options that are available out there that's when I went back home and I tried to check online I sat on my computer with an internet connection those days we used to have smart telecom the data bundles for smart were actually way cheaper then so i would spend a lot of hours online trying to figure out what business opportunities are available there at the time the most popular form of business opportunity available was transcription where you would listen to an audio like this one here and you would transcribe it to earn an income online but it was not sustainable the amount of money that you would get paid would be those days they would charge i think about uh, every audio hour that you would transcribe would be about five dollars but if you do not have a particular set of skills you cannot earn this money and so it was very frustrating uh, it was very frustrating it was hard to earn even a dollar online it was, a, it was a big challenge, sitting at home the whole day and not being able to do anything to earn any income was a challenge. When I enrolled for my diploma in science, technology, chemistry from the same university, the opportunities opened up for me. I got a lot of insights. I got a lot of, uh, of friends, uh, a lot of, uh, of people who encouraged me to, to pursue my dreams and pursue other opportunities that are available online. And I continued experimenting with different things available online, testing this, testing that, failing at this, failing at that. And at the end of my diploma, I discovered uh, through the, the different uh, course units that we were enrolled for the university, and uh, one of which was called entrepreneurship. <laughs> we have all done entrepreneurship but at some point in our life. And in that course, at the end of the semester, the end of the year, we were encouraged to go and look for uh, opportunities, uh, business ideas that could generate an income immediately after we had graduated from the university. And so while searching for a class project, I developed an idea after a lot of research, I developed an idea of making charcoal lighters. Okay, And so that was when everything started for me, when everything started working out for me. I, uh, I experimented with different things. I experimented with, the, with the, uh, different processes, different formulas, different approaches to making the product. And I eventually came up with a product that I could sell. Yeah. So these are the charcoal lighters. They are in, in, the, in big packs. I call them awesome lighters. Um, <laughs> but you know, when you look at this picture here, you probably assume that ah, this, this must have been an easy process. Uh, he found something that works, implemented it and started uh, uh, earning from it. But I would like to let you know that the process was not easy. This is the finished product, but um, it was a journey. Okay. It was a long journey. At the time, I was uh, making this at home. So I, I would get the tools ready and uh, prepare uh, the raw materials and make the product myself. Uh, the second picture here, you can see this was <laughs> my first product that I made. During the process of development, it wasn't the best that it could have been. I had to experiment with a lot of things. The product kept on evolving over time.
at the time I was selling uh, them in packs, in packed in polythene bags, as you can see there. I would seal them using candles and I would sell these products in the market. I would sell them in Nakawa, Boyogere, Chireka, Seta, Banda markets. <laughs> so I would carry the packets of, of the charcoal lighters in, in a big bag, in a big polythene bag, and I would go around shouting, <laughs> So it was very, 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 very interesting. I did get some people to buy, I did get some customers to buy, but uh, at most of the times I would have a bag uh, walking through the market and I would return home with the bag almost full or three quarters, three quarters of it. So it was a challenge, but I was making some some sales and it this kept me going okay i was earning some income but then uh in 2020 early in 2020 corona virus happened okay coronavirus happened and i could not go to the market to sell my products the way i was selling them previously so i almost gave up i said now what am i going to do if i can't go to the market to sell my products what what am i going to do what how how am i going to and for my business, I've invested a lot, of, a lot of time in it. I've invested a lot of money in it. And now <laughs> I have packets of charcoal in the house and, and I can't sell them anymore. The turning point for me and my business was when I came across an advert online for Jumia. When I saw that advert for Jumia, I was amazed. I could not believe what these guys were doing. The guys were, sh were showing their products in the advert and, uh, and they included the prices. They included all the information. And, they, and when, I, when I clicked through the advert and I looked at their website, I saw a bunch of products that they were selling. I saw this, I saw that. And in my head, and I, th I was thinking to myself, how are these guys doing it? And they were making the deliveries to the doorstep. <laughs> it was it was crazy. I, I looked at the, the, the website and I could not believe what I was seeing. The marketplace was big. There were a number of products that they were selling. And I thought to myself, I really thought to myself and say, can't I do this as well? Can't I sell my own products like the way they are doing as well? How are these guys doing it? And over the, the next couple of months, I spent all of my resources and all of the money that I had and, and invested in my internet bundles. And I went online and researched about the different processes, learned the different skills, how to get in front of, the, of customers exactly where they are and show them my product, promote my product, and then even deliver the product to their doorstep. I, I felt like I needed to find a way to sell my product and I needed to do the necessary research to be to enable me to get my products, my charcoal lighters in front of my customers. And so after spending all the time and all the resources, I finally created my very first <laughs> Facebook advert. <laughs> I created my very first Facebook advert. And uh, this is how the advert looked like. As you can see here, it says uh, awesome lighters, um, posted blah, 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 blah. Uh, at the time, I was calling it MSF BSC charcoal lighters, which, which is a bit hard to pronounce, but that is what I was calling it at that time. Now, the advert was a video demonstrating how my product worked. Full stop. It wasn't anything complicated. It was something very simple. It was just a video showing exactly how my product worked. And after uh, after some few days, I remember I spent like four dollars, an equivalent of something like sixteen thousand, and I made my very first sale. <laughs> I made my very first sale online. It was uh, from a client. Uh, she sent me a message and she said, "Oh, I saw your advert for for, for chocolates online. I want some chocolates. How can I get some packs of chocolates?" And I gave her, we discussed and I walked her through, I explained that this is what is included in the product because she wanted details. How does the product work? This and that. I, ex I gave her all the details and she told me, okay, organize to send me the, um, this product at home. I stay uh, in Weyogere, uh, Chito. And, uh, and I sent her the message the next morning, this message and saying, uh, MSFB Chocolaters, because I had seen Jumia do this, uh, delivery agent, this will soon call you uh, for delivery of your Chocolaters. Your bill is 21000 cash on delivery, two packets of lighters, uh, 18000 and 3000 is delivery charge. Thank you for your purchase. This was my very first sale and I've never looked back ever since then. 
people have learned more about my product because of continuously advertising people have learned about my product and uh, over like the next couple of months i kept on making sales 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 they kept coming in once in a while people would ask can i get three packs can i get four packs and over time i started earning a sustainable income online so this 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 is my story this is my journey i started small but right now i am able to earn an income in the comfort of my home without leaving home and I'm able to fulfill orders and get paid. I feel that this this is the definition of being lockdown proof because even with the current lockdown I'm still able to sell my products and I want this for you as well. So now a lot of people will tell you ah uh, to start an online business it is uh, it can be quite complicated and indeed it can be quite complicated because there are a lot of things that you need to learn there are a lot of skills there's a number of skill sets that you need to learn in order to be able to start your online business for me i was fortunate because i had some exposure to computing and i was able to manipulate the internet but some of you do not have these skill sets but the goal of this training the goal of this training is just to show you the opportunity starting an online business is hard right a lot of people will tell you that it is but i'm here to tell you that a lot of those people might be wrong okay there are things that they don't want you to know <laughs> there are things that they don't want you to know and i can assure you that if you follow this step by step process that i'm going to be showing you in this presentation you'll be on your way to starting your own online business today okay so who is this training for individuals who have a product and want to sell it online if you already have a product that you're ready to sell stick around this training is for you now if you don't have a product but you still want to learn how to sell online stick around this training is for you individuals who are working a 9 to 5 but are looking for opportunities to earn a side income if that's you stick around pre-existing businesses that want to take their products online if that's you especially if that is you please stick around okay now you don't have to take any notes please do not take any notes i will be sending you these slides at the end of this presentation i'll also be sending you a guide a step by step guide which you can follow and be on your way to start earning an income online yourself so now i'm going to be showing you how to start your online business using a framework that i, I like to call the pto framework now this the pto framework is not the please turn over no it isn't that the pto framework is a short form for three um, important uh, stages that you need to go through when you're starting your business now any business it doesn't really matter whether it's an online business or any kind of business that you want to start or it starts with one thing and one thing only it can start with a problem what problem are you solving okay people will pay you to solve problems so under this pto framework i always start with the problem because this is the most important part of your online business or any other business that you might be starting you need to identify a problem now once you have identified a problem and you have turned it into a solution a product that people can buy you need to get people um, to see your product your product needs to get visibility okay you need to get visibility for your product so how do you get visibility for your product you need you need to look for places where people are already going to buy stuff okay you need to get your product in front of people you need to get your product to places where people are already going to buy stuff okay and once you you have your product and you know where you want to go and sell your product you know how to get people to see your product you need to provide an offer you need to give people an offer a compelling offer is something where somebody just looks at your product and says okay 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 well, stop stop explaining a lot of things just give me the product take my money okay just take my money that is a good offer when you have a good offer people will just be looking to give you money because it won't make sense for them not to give you money especially if you're giving them a product that is going to solve for them a problem and you're giving them a lot of other things along with this product that they will not be able to get anywhere else okay once you can understand exactly how to get these things to work for you you'll be on your way to earning your very first shilling online okay so let us start with the first stage identifying a problem to solve okay 
So now the internet has made this very, very, very easy. There are a lot of problems that people are encountering today, okay? And uh, in order to identify the kind of problems that people are facing, guess who you need to ask? The people. <laughs> the people. You need to ask the people what kind of challenges that they are facing. You need to get into the forums, into the groups, into the, uh, into the WhatsApp chats, in the WhatsApp groups, in the Facebook groups, and ask them. Much earlier in 2019, I came up with uh, an idea of making books. Now, uh, staying in the university and, uh, and studying obviously in the university, you realize that books are an, uh, an essential part of academics, right? Yeah. You know that, uh, that any student who is moving on the campus, at some point, they will need to purchase a book. So in 2019, I came up with an idea. So I was thinking to myself, can I create a thick book that people can use throughout the semester and have all the entire course units um, for the entire course within that semester in that book and so that if somebody just wanted to go for any lecture they know that they can they just need to open this specific page and take their notes on this page and go ahead to do that for the next lecture in the other different course units over and over again so in my head i i thought that this this was this was mind blowing this was an idea that i could implement and start earning from immediately and the market was there i, I knew that students needed books uh, and so i i went online because that's usually what i do i go i go online i browse and try to find out how um, the processes that people need to go through how do you go th how do you make books how do you make big books how do you make a, a nice looking books and i came up with a product um, that is that i thought personally that was exceptional it was a big book that i thought that people could use uh, for the whole semester without any struggles and uh, you wouldn't need to carry a lot of books around and i thought that this was a good idea for me but there was only one challenge with that idea. There was no big problem that I was solving. Okay? I was not solving any problem because there were already people who were selling books in the university. <laughs> and they are, they, they are different. You know, the books come in different sizes. They come in different tires. They come uh, in, uh, in the small books, which is like uh, 2,000 shillings. And then uh, the next size box is like 3,000. Next is five. And people had already solved this problem okay and so as much as i spent a lot of time trying to research the process of making books and making them i ended up keeping a lot of those books in the house i never sold any of those why because i was not solving any problem the problem was already solved okay when i started making charcoal lighters the story was a bit different i knew that at least two in every ten women struggle to light their stove okay and it's 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 a fact it can really be frustrating when you wake up very early in the morning and you try to light your charcoal stove and probably maybe you want to leave home very early and go to your place of working time but you light your stove and then after spending almost 30 minutes on it you come back you return and you find that your stove is not lit and this the same concept applies even in the evenings sometimes when you get home late in the evening at around uh, 10 uh, sometimes people get home at around maybe 7 8 maybe up to 9 10 11 and when you get home it is a very critical time for you what you really want to do at that time is only one thing only save as much time as you can light your stove and make sure that it gets ready as as fast as possible have your meals and go to bed in time so what happens you get home at around 10 11 you use your polythene bag you try to light your stove and then after almost 30 minutes, you return and you find that your stove is not lit. It's crazy, yeah? You understand that, that that is a real, real, real urgent problem that someone would really want to solve, okay? So understanding this is very key. Understanding this is very important. When you create your product, ensure that your product is solving an urgent problem problem it is very 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 essential that your product is solving a problem okay and then the next thing that you need to find out is that is there money in the problem okay can you monetize the problem can you create a product and you once you've created it you put it in the market and people are able to pay for it because you might have some problem 
and in your head you're absolutely certain that it's going to generate a good income for you but when you put it in the market people are not willing to pay all the money that you expected to earn from it and the value that people are, are expecting to get from your product is not as much as 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 what you think it is okay so you need to make sure that there is money in the problem okay you need to make sure that there is money in the problem and you can transform this problem into a solution a product that people can pay for okay some problems are much easier to solve um, than others say if you said you wanted to teach people how to bake and you don't have any talents you do not have any skills you don't have any talents you don't have any knowledge you don't have any skills in the field what do you think you need to do it means that you have to go and acquire the skills it means that you're going to spend time and money on the internet trying to learn the skills that you are hoping to teach other people that problem might be hard for you to solve okay if you say that you wanted to teach mothers who are staying at home right now in the lockdown to cook something that is unique and you didn't have the skills to solve such a problem then it means that um, it means that it's going to be much harder for you to solve that problem okay so you need to make sure that your problem is very easy to solve and usually what i advise is that look at your passions look at your skills your knowledge your experiences what are some of the things that you have learned over the years that you can implement the skills that you can use in order to create products that solves problems for people okay look at your passions what are you interested in if it's sports what products can you make obviously like i said make sure that the product is solving a problem and then look at the skills that you have knowledge that you have acquired skills that you have acquired over time how do you use those how do you leverage those in order to produce products that solve problems for people okay so the other alternative route would be if you do not have a problem or you can't identify a problem uh, to solve then you need to find something that isn't a problem and find a smart way to sell it okay but the barrier to achieving success when you go this route is much much higher the barrier to achieving success when you go along with this route is going to be much much higher the best thing that you can do look at your passions and your skills and the knowledge that you have acquired over time um go to the forums and the communities on the internet groups whatsapp groups and ask people for the problems that they are facing and find a good enough problem a big problem that you can solve and then start creating products that people can pay for and then earn from it okay i have a quote that says you want to earn more money solve a bigger problem okay if you want to earn more money you need to solve a bigger problem elon musk says you get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve okay you get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve okay so find a problem to solve okay find a problem to solve you create a product that people can pay for put that product into the market and you can start earning from that problem okay solve a problem find a problem and solve it entrepreneurs get paid to solve problems are you guys getting this <laughs> are you guys getting this okay so what problems can you solve what what problems do you know that you can solve look in the community and see what problems that you can solve people are going to pay you for solving problems people will pay their hard earned money for problems people will pay for needs people will pay for problems if someone has a pain point they have a problem that they need solved they will pay their hard earned money to solve that problems that problem so find problems in your community that you can solve okay are you guys getting this this is the first step in the process the problem find a problem to solve find a problem to solve okay let's move to the next thing i hope you guys are getting this okay are you guys getting this you need to find a problem to solve people are going to pay you for solving problems people are going to pay you to solve problems okay so now that you've created the product that people can buy you need to get it in in front of the people who are going to buy it <laughs> i don't know i don't know when you create a product i don't know what usually happens do you, do you create a product and and you keep it in the house you just sit and relax and and people come and buy it how will people know that your product exists if you're not putting it in front 
of people okay so you don't just sit at home definitely you don't just sit at home when you've created your product you don't just sit at home you need to get your product into the hands of the people the customers who are going to pay you money to use or to, to acquire your product okay so usually what happens is that uh, like i did if you want to get people to buy your product you're going to get your product leave your place uh, where you currently are and you move around in the markets at the roadsides on the streets um, and try to get people to buy your product okay that's the conventional way of doing things you create your product you've prepared it you know that this is something that people can pay for you carry your product and remove take it for, away from home and you carry it and now like that's like the vendors the the hawkers that is what they do you carry the product put it in a bag you carry it to the streets you carry it by the roadsides you carry it in the market you probably shout at the top of your voice like i used to do that is what you do you carry your product and take it to the market and then you go ahead and show your product to the different people and hope <laughs> and hope that you will find somebody who is willing to pay for your product okay that is what happens okay so what 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 comes to your mind when you think about congregations i don't know what comes to your mind when you think about congregations i, I think the first thing that really comes to mind is uh is church okay because <laughs> usually when people talk about congregations they talk about church people go to to church to go to church to praise god and worship god and usually there are lot the, the numbers are really big okay it's not usually common that you will find um say maybe unless there are short there are workshops or conferences but church 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 is is a place where people go to bond with god to listen to the word of god to get the message okay and this is something that most people will definitely agree upon so if you are a christian and if you are a muslim if you're if you're maybe your seventh day this is where it, it doesn't really matter what kind type of person you are it doesn't really matter where you're from what tribe you are usually church is where you all agree you all agree on one thing and one thing only that you need god to be a part of your lives and you need in order for you to, to continue to build a relationship with your your, your maker uh, whether you're a muslim or a christian you go to church and and you get this kind of uh, of of bonding with with your god so when when it comes to, when someone says the word congregations the first thing that comes to mind is church okay so i want you to know i want you to understand that there are congregations online as well and these congregations are these social media platforms facebook twitter instagram linkedin snapchat as uh, <laughs> tiktok okay these are all congregations people are already coming to these platforms uh, whether they are young or old all these people are on these people are already congregating on these platforms so now I, I i don't know whether you can see where where i'm going with this okay so now let's let's look at facebook let's look at the numbers on facebook it says here that facebook has over 2.75 billion people on the platform 2.75 billion people on the platform okay and that's facebook only <laughs> okay that's facebook only let's see in uganda how many people are, 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 are online in uganda alone there are over three million people as of as of um june 2021 there are over three million people on the facebook platform okay are you guys getting this there are over three million people on the facebook platform now in, in uganda alone, three million people on the platform in kampala only in Kampala alone there are over 1.2 million people on the Facebook platform 1 million okay maybe you don't know you don't know what, what what a million looks like i want to give you an opportunity to have a glimpse of what 1 million people can look like now look at this picture okay look at this image this picture shows uh, let me see this is a uh, uh, 500,000 people half a million people this is how it, half a million people look like okay so now imagine two times this number of people are on the facebook platform 
<laughs> Are you guys getting this? Are you guys getting this? 500,000 people. Just look at this. This is 500,000. Half a million people. This is what it looks like. Okay? Yeah. 500,000 people. Okay? So I don't know. You guys, I don't know whether you see the opportunity that is available online. It means that if you got your product and put it on the Facebook platform and said that you wanted, just wanted Facebook to show you your product to to, to to people that are staying only in, in Kampala, you would be able to reach over one million people on the platform. Okay, and uh, this is this is an opportunity. I don't know when I discovered this, I thought that this is a very big opportunity. You, you see, when you create your product and you decide to to sell it, and you say you're going to to use vendors to deliver your product to 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 show your product to the different people around the the city, I don't think that. You would be able to reach. I don't think in your lifetime you would be able to reach everybody in the city. Okay, and you know there are a lot of complications because people are in different locations. Some people are not easily accessible, but Facebook, Facebook can give you accessibility, can give you visibility to a number of people. Okay, so I don't know whether you guys are getting this. Are you guys getting this? Okay, the platform has over one million, one point two people. 1.2 million people on the platform. I don't know. I don't know whether you guys are getting this. So you might say, well, this might be, this might, this, this is really easy, okay? I, I just need to get my, my product in front of these people. It's, it shouldn't be so complicated, okay? Wrong. It's not as easy as, as it seems, okay? There are some things that you need to be aware of. I don't know whether when somebody says organic reach, you understand what they say. Organic reach means that you can just, if you have like a, a Facebook personal profile and you decided to create a post, you would be able to put the post up on Facebook and you'd be able to reach a couple of people. Okay. Those days when you would create a post on Facebook, it was very easy. You would create a post and if the post is good enough, you'd be able to reach a big, a huge number of people on the platform. But nowadays the competition is too high and you realize that when you put out a post, you will be lucky if you get 20 people to see your post. And this is organic. Okay. But everything has changed ever since then. You can't reach very many people with a, with a simple post on Facebook and it is a pay to play game it's a pay to play game you need to pay in order to play on the facebook platform if you want to reach these these million people on the platform on the platform you need to pay some money okay so what does this mean for you i don't know whether you guys know this guy here this guy is called mark zuckerberg okay this is mark zuckerberg he's the ceo of facebook he's the founder he started this uh, platform in his school with a, a couple of colleagues and the platform has this is the platform that has grown to 2.75 billion people okay so what does this mean for you it means that you need to go to mark okay <laughs> you're going to go to mark and you say hey mark um i've got my product i, I want to sell it on your platform okay <laughs> Okay, you will talk to Mark. No, you're gonna have a lunch in Ogamba. Okay, Mark, I've got this product and I want to sell uh, my product on your platform. Can you help me? And Mark, Mark will say, Mark is good. Mark is a nice dude. He will tell you, okay, I can help you, but you gotta pay some cash. Okay, you've got to pay some money because I, I can't obviously give you the accessibility and visibility for free. I also need to feed my family. Okay, and and okay, you will say, okay. How much? How much will it cost? And Mark will ask you, how much can you afford? Okay. So how much can you afford? And you say, okay, I'll give you 10K. And then Mark will say, okay, let me show your product to 3,000 people for that price. Let me show your product to 3,000 people and we see what happens. Is it okay? Is it a good deal? Um, uh, and you say, yeah, okay, okay. I'll pay you the money. Okay. So, um, Mark shows your product to a couple of people on his platform, uh, 3,000 people. So let's say if, if five out of the 3,000 people buy your product, your product, your 5,000 shilling product, okay? And what happens? You make 20, how much do you make? Yeah, you make like 25,000, okay? You make 25,000 Ugandan shillings. You pay Mark his 10K, <laughs> okay? You pay Mark his 10K and you keep the 15,000. Okay. Are you guys getting this? <laughs> I 
isn't this awesome okay are you guys getting this this is this is awesome this is the new this is the new opportunity for you guys i don't know i don't know i don't know whether whether you guys are getting this this is a new opportunity this is an opportunity for you to utilize the resources these resources that are available this is an opportunity that you should take advantage of okay are you guys getting this this is really awesome you just pay mark a couple of shillings mark shows your product to a number of people you get a couple of people to buy your product you pay mark his his cash for showing your product and you get to keep the rest as profit this is the opportunity okay this is the opportunity are you guys getting this <laughs> are you guys really getting this this is the opportunity okay so isn't this awesome are you guys getting this <laughs> It's very exciting. When I discovered this, it was very exciting for me and uh, I'm glad that I'm, I'm, I'm able to share this with you right now. Okay. So, Mark has just given you two key things that are very important for sustainability of your online business. Okay. What are these two things, you might ask? <laughs> he just gave you money. He just gave you profit for your investment. Okay. You've not lost money on the platform. Uh, you invested some money with Mark and he paid you more money back. Okay. The second most important thing that Mark has given you, Mark has given you a customer. Okay? Mark has given you a customer. Okay? Now, I want you to think to think about this. How much will it cost you to get your customer to buy your product again? <laughs> How much do you think it will cost you to get your customer to buy your product again? Zero. Zero shillings. Okay, zero, zero shillings. I don't know whether it's Kenyan shillings, Tanzanian shillings, or Ugandan shillings. It's going to cost you zero shillings to get that customer to buy your product again. <laughs> Are you guys getting this? Okay, so that means that all the money that you make from that customer that you have acquired over the next couple of years is going to come back as pure profit. Okay, it's going to, it's going to come back as pure profit. Now, I don't know if this doesn't get you excited. I don't know what will. Okay. Are you guys getting this? Are you seeing the opportunity that is available online? Okay. If this does not get you excited, I really don't know what will. Okay. So let's talk about a concept that I need, I need you to understand. A concept called targeting. The best thing about the, the platform is that you can target people based upon different things okay if you have a product that is best suited for young people you can target those young people specifically based upon their age so now here are some of the things that you can you can use in your targeting when you're targeting people on facebook you can target them based on upon their age <laughs> if you're selling something that is best suited for young people whether they are maybe 20 years or 30 years you can target them based upon their age okay if you have a product that is best suited for people who are elderly, uh, above 70, 60 years, you can create a product and, and promote it to people who are over 70 years, okay? You can target people based upon their marital status, whether they are married, single, newly wedded. All these are things that you can specify to Mark and tell him, I want you to show my product to this specific type of person, okay? You can target them based upon their sex. Are they male? Or female, okay? So for me, personally, when I was promoting my chocolates, I targeted specifically female because female are usually people who are encountering this problem. Uh, under normal circumstances, the men don't do a lot of the cooking. So it is usually female who have the problem of lighting stoves because they are usually the ones who do the cooking. So the female are, the, are usually people who encounter this problem of chocolating. And so when I created my product, when I was advertising it, when I was showing it to people on Facebook, I told Mark, Mark, I don't want you to show this product to men. I want you to show my product to women. Okay. You can target people based upon their location. Are they at home? Are they at office? Are they in the city town? Which country are they in? All these are things that you can specify to Mark and say, Mark, I only want you to show this advert to people who are in Kampala because those are the only people that I can deliver my product to. Okay. I know, guys, I, I need you to, to bear with me. I, I know I'm speaking at a very fast pace, but I hope you guys are getting this. Are you guys getting this? Huh?
Um, I know I'm speaking at a very fast pace, but uh, there's a lot of things that I need you to learn and a lot of things that I need you to get in the next couple of, uh, of minutes. Um, so I, uh, if you're feeling a bit exhausted and you need to take a break, uh, you can pause uh, the video right now and, and go and have a break and and take some water uh, and then uh, and then come back uh, with a fresh mind do some exercise and then we can continue i really want to share this information with you guys so you don't you don't miss out please 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 stick around i want you guys to get everything that i'm giving you right now i want this i want you to be able to transform your life okay so i need you guys to stick around and, and learn everything that you need to learn uh if, if if it's anything like i said if you've spared a lot of time if you've spared some time to learn and and, and get all these things in your head right now so that you can go and implement it for your own business please 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 stick around okay so you can take it people based upon their interests okay if someone if someone likes sports soccer music okay you know facebook has collected a lot of information from its its people on the platform he know it knows that this guy usually goes out uh, with his pals to share some drinks or to play soccer or to watch games uh, or he, this person is interested in music and all this information has been collected in one place on that platform and so you can target specifically people who are interested in something uh, maybe music sports soccer basketball you can target people you can tell mark i want this advert i want you to show my product to people who are interested in golf okay you can target people based upon their job are they administrators are they ceos are they self employed okay is it a startup okay so you can specify all this information on the platform and a mark will show your product to these specific people okay you can even specify based upon how much someone earns okay you can say i want you to show this product to people who are earning at least two million or five million and above because obviously you don't want to sell an expensive product to people who cannot afford to pay for it okay so you can specify all this information uh, when you're promoting your product on the platform this is very exciting i don't know whether you guys are getting this i don't know whether you guys see the opportunity okay this means that you do not have to leave home to find people anymore people can find you where you are you just need to pay mark a couple of bucks okay pay mark a couple of shillings let mark show your product to people who are most likely to buy your product let mark give you a uh, profit let mark give you a customer and all you have to do is to continue to build relationships with your customers and these people will continue to pay you over the next couple of years okay as long as you can continue to build a relationship with these people that uh, mark is giving you with these customers that mark is giving you you can continue to earn money uh, uh sustainably earn money uh, at home without having to leave home to carry your product and take it to the market and, and shout at the top of, <laughs> of your voice like i did you can get your product into the hands of the people who need it just by targeting them uh but just by asking mark to show your product to these people on his facebook platform okay are you guys getting this okay are you getting it okay are you guys getting this this is very this is very exciting this is how i've been able to earn my income online okay this is how i've been able to become lockdown proof because i can create my products and put them in front of my customers at a small fee and get people in and then and continue to sell them more of my products in the future and continue to earn money from those people over and over and over again okay are you guys getting this i really do hope you guys are getting this this is valuable information this is information that has taken me almost two years to get okay and i, I am very happy that you can now get this information now at a very affordable price <laughs> okay a very 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 affordable price okay okay i hope you guys are really really getting this okay this information is very 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 valuable and i'm glad uh, that i'm that i'm able to share this information with you so you can make the change that you need in your life so that you can make that get the transformation that you're really looking for in your life so that you can become lockdown proof <laughs> you can become lockdown proof and money at home and money at the comfort of your home okay so we now have already covered the two stages to become lockdown proof you have a problem you have identified a problem and you have solved that problem step one 
you now know how to get people to see your product and pay for your product like i said you just need to get traffic to your product you just need to get mark to show your product to people uh, get get um pay mark some small money and then um keep get a customer uh, who can continue to buy for your product uh, who you can continue to buy your product over and over and over again okay those are two steps the product and the traffic okay the last part of this um of this formula is the offer okay so what when you talk about an offer when you talk about when you talk about an offer what comes to mind no under normal circumstances offers are uh, i usually see a lot of promotions for jumia <laughs> saying special offer uh, buy this product in the next couple of days it's going to be at a discount jumia like right now we have uh, at the time when i'm recording this this uh, this training we have um, jumia anniversary okay Nine years, celebrating nine years, get products at a discount. What does offer really? Because usually when someone talks about an offer, the first thing that comes to mind is, wait, okay, I think an offer, when you talk about an offer, a special offer, it should be a discount. In normal circumstances, that it, that's what it is, okay? So offers are usually discounts. You go and you see an offer online, they tell you 50% off this product. And if you've been planning to buy that product and it's a bit costly, under the normal under normal circumstances, the product is a bit costly. If you paid full price for the thing, you'd be paying like 100,000. If someone says 50% off, that's a special offer. It's an offer. 50% off, 50K, get this product now, uh, buy it now in the next couple of, of minutes, you can sell 50,000. That's an offer, okay? So... An offer is what thing do you have? Hmm? What thing do you have? What thing can you provide to your customer that will compel them to take action immediately? Okay, something that is is valuable uh, that can compel your customer to. If if somebody has been postponing to buy your product and you give them an offer, they will they will automatically or they will they will feel an obligation to take up the offer or to buy the product because you have provided it with a lot of bonuses maybe maybe you provided it at a discount and, and that is how that is what an offer is at least that is what comes to my mind when i think about an offer now in online business creating good offers is very important you need to develop a skill to create good offers for your product people are not just going to buy your product you're not just going to pull out a product and say okay this is my product people just buy it it's like 50k it's affordable so just just buy the product okay you need to provide something with a, a reason something to compel them to buy your product and buy it like immediately okay now to understand exactly how creating offers and selling products online usually goes for me personally i usually like to use an analogy i said uh, i usually say um, if i came up to you on the road and asked you to pay me four million me a complete stranger you do not know who i am we have never met it's just out of the blue and i came and met you in, uh, on the road and i say and i said uh, if you can pay me 4 million ugandan shillings a complete stranger if you can pay me 4 million ugandan shillings uh, i can set up everything that you need to get your business up and running okay you don't even have to lift a finger okay if i told you if i just came up to you and say okay hello uh let's say uh jen okay uh hey jen, jen how are you doing um i uh if you can pay me four million right now i can get your business up and running and you don't have to lift a finger i can set up everything for you and you can start earning your own online income today <laughs> what what would what what would come to mind okay what would you think you'd probably think i'm crazy right four million what, what, are you crazy <laughs> okay four million you, you're not going to pull out four million and give it to a stranger just because he has said uh he can get your business up and running and you can start earning your own income and uh, online at home uh in the comfort of your home uh just because it's 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 absurd you can't just come over and find someone on the road and you tell them okay pay me this amount of money and i can get your business up and run you now alternatively um there is no guarantee you don't know who i am you don't know what uh, experiences that i have this i have no there is no reason for you to trust me with your heart and money okay 
alternatively if we met if i if i, I came up to you and say okay hello my name is george makasi i know i know you don't know who i am you have no reason to trust me we, i know we have just met uh, but if you could give me a, f- a few minutes of your time i would like to share with you some of the things uh, uh, some experiences that i have learned over the last few years of my life uh, about making money online these are the things that i have created and uh, these are the things that i've sold before this is the money that i have earned online over the last couple of years this is my facebook page uh, you can go and look at it and you see the testimonials that are available there this is my website and this is the information that this is my website uh, you can go and look at it and, and see the people that i have worked with relationships that i have built over time and see the businesses of people that i have helped and built and all i ask is that you just give me 30 minutes of your time uh, we can even have a meeting here or somewhere uh, that is of your convenience and i can walk you through how i might be able if you give me an opportunity to solve your problem to build your business and uh, if you have a product that you're selling i can can set up everything that you need for your business to start working and and after all this time if we have discussed and you feel that you are not contented and you are not ready to commit uh, i'll be okay with it all i will ask is that you provide your phone contact and then i will can continue to share some of the information that is available out there and when you're ready and when you feel that you're ready you can come over and work with me how would you respond to such a proposal you would you would probably say yes okay it's just a couple of minutes i don't have to pay any money and i can get value i can get to to know what george has to offer and see how he can help me in my business okay at that point i have provided a certain level of value it has been free you do not have to pay for it okay it's 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 value someone understands that this is what is available out there and this is how this gentleman can help me okay i've not just come and asked you pay me 4 million and now i can get your business up and running it's, it never works okay uh let's say, let's say for example let's say for example uh if you're married right now how did you and your partner first meet did he just come over to you and say on the first date <laughs> will you marry me <laughs> okay it, it it's it's it never happens like that it's absolutely not okay it will never happen like that usually what happens is that you have to build a relationship over time you ask her out for a date you take her out for the first date and if she likes it you go for the second date and over the next couple months six months you continue to build a relationship uh, you share moments and you do things together and somebody eventually falls in love with you then and only then can you ask somebody uh, ask some for someone's hand someone's daughter's hand <laughs> in marriage okay okay so you will never you will never ask for for marriage um, on the first date i don't know why people to think that you can you can just get away with this it it never happens like that so even in the business space whether it's online whether it's in the physical world you always need to start with something of value when someone gets value at that level then they can ascend they can go on to buy your other your other products in the future only and only if they have obtained value okay so usually what i advise is that when you start selling your products online start with a low priced offer something affordable okay you need to start with something that is affordable then and only then when somebody has built a relationship with you can you sell them other products in the future okay you need to invest in the relationship first we invest in a relationship first no one's going to buy products from a stranger people buy from people they love people buy from people they trust okay so i need you to understand this you need to create your product a low priced product that can attract people to your world your community you can continue to cross sell them additional products or you can upsell them to more expensive products but it is important that you provide value up front lead with value people can only buy from people they love people only buy from people they trust what could you offer cheap what could you offer cheaply or what could you offer for free okay what could you offer for free invest in a relationship first okay mm-hmm. the fact that, that you're on this training is proof that these concepts work i invite you to attend this training at a very low price okay hopefully i might be able to sell you my other products in the future but if not i am investing in the relationship you say okay now george george is a really awesome guy he he really co- invited us to this training and we pay like a couple of shillings for it and we got a lot of value from this training and we were able to implement the things that we learned from george into our business and started earning our own income online okay so you need to invest in the relationship first your goal 
is to use the low priced offer to attract as many people in attract as many people in. get a lot of people in and you can continue to make money from them uh, from the relationship that you've built with these people over and over again okay are you guys getting this i really hope you guys are getting this uh, this is information that has really taken me a lot of years of research and when i discovered this it was mind blowing okay the fact that you own this training is that these concepts do work okay so your goal is to use the low price offer to attract as many people in get as many people in get as many as many potential buyers in your world as possible okay you need to build a list of potential buyers if there is anything that i want you to take away from this presentation is that you need to build a list of potential buyers people that can continue to buy from you over and over again remember we are using the low priced product in order to get more people in and then building a list of potential buyers now me personally I really wish that someone had told me this in the beginning. This is I wish this was the first thing that someone taught me when I started my online business. I really can't uh, I can't say much, but I'm really glad that you're able to get this information right now from me so that you don't have to spend uh, years and years trying to figure out the best way to make money online. And here goes, if there's anything that you sh you should take away from this training is one thing and one thing only. The money is in the list. Okay, the money is in the list. The money is in the relationships that you build with your list. All those potential buyers that Mark is going to send you, build a relationship with them, build the list of potential buyers, the money is in the list. These are people who will buy from you years and years to come. Okay, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again okay the money is in the list now i want you to imagine this if mark zuckerberg <laughs> if mark gave you a list of 500 potential buyers and each one of these customers paid you 1000 1000 ugandan shillings whether kenyan shillings or tanzanian shillings or i don't know which which shillings <laughs> which currency that you're using if each of these customers paid you at least 1000 per month and you have a list of 500 people how how much would that be at the end of the month? That would be like what five hundred thousand. You know somebody who'd like to earn five hundred thousand per month. Yes, <laughs> very many people want to earn. <laughs> at least even if they could earn that a month, it would make a difference in their lives. If you earn five hundred thousand per month, an extra income of five hundred thousand per month. Some people are earning a salary which is way less than that. Okay, and they have to wake up very early in the morning and sit through the traffic every single day and come back home very late, exhausted, and repeat the process again the next day. Okay, um, so for some of you, this could replace your salary instantly. Okay, this could <laughs> quite literally replace your salary instantly. Okay, so <laughs> are you guys getting this? Uh, I hope you guys are really getting this. Okay, this is how online business operates. You need to build a list of potential buyers. These are the people who will continue to pay you money years and years to come. I really hope you guys are getting this. Okay. So let's let's okay for instance okay let's let's take for example imagine if Mark Zuckerberg gave you a list of 1000 potential buyers and 500 of these people paid you an average of 2000 per month hmm 2000 per month how much would that be 500 people i think that's that's like what 1 million <laughs> 1 million ugandan shillings okay this is the most important part for me i actually wish that someone had told me this much much earlier when i started doing online business the money is in the list build a list build a database build a relationship with the database build the relationship with the list of buyers and these people will continue to pay you money over and over again so when you're starting out if you decide today i've learned a couple of skills from george and i want to implement them i want to start implementing them today this is the first thing that you need to focus on in your first year of doing business i want you to focus on one thing and one thing only focus on building your list okay if you want to achieve financial freedom by 2022 and become lockdown proof by 2022 you need to start building your list build a relationship with your list take care of them and they will take care of you okay 
This is the most important part. If there's anything that you take away from this training, uh, other than having to know what problem that you're going to solve and creating a product that people can pay for and knowing where to find people who can buy your product and getting in front of them, the most important thing is to get those people onto a list that you can continue to communicate and nurture and grow with and take care of, and then they will also take care of you. So build your list. Remember, the money is in the list. Okay? So, <laughs> I think we have reached the end of this training. Uh, to recap, we have talked about three important things. We have talked about uh, identifying a problem to solve. We have talked about traffic. Where can you get people or how can you get in front of the people who are most likely to buy your product? And then what offer, what low priced, what cheap offer um, can you provide to people to entice them, to bait them into joining your world, to joining your community and then continue to build relationships with these people over and over again and, uh, and start earning your income, become lockdown proof by 2022. So to recap again, you need to find a problem to solve. Turn it into a product that people can pay for. One. Uh, pay Mark. <laughs> you need to pay Mark Zuckerberg uh, to show people your product. To get those people to see your product and to see what you have to offer. Make sure that you have a good offer. Something for free or cheap. Okay. In price. Uh, to get people in. And then build a list of potential buyers. Build a relationship with them. Take care of them. And they will take care of you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> did you guys get a lot of value from this training? I, I know a lot of people had not uh, had not really gotten an opportunity to get uh, to understand the potential that internet has. Me uh, currently right now, um, I'm actually I, I must say to be honest that I'm lockdown proof because I'm I'm earning more money than I was earning before because people are now staying at home and if you have been struggling to light your stove, the problem is now like 10x because now. You're staying at home with kids and you have a very busy schedule. When you wake up in the morning, the last thing that you want is to spend hours trying to light your stove. It's, it's ridiculous, right? So people call me and say, okay, I want two packets. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a long month. It's a long lockdown. And I, need to, to be a, I need to have uh, some of these around the house. It's, I don't want to, to struggle and get frustrated with my stove every time. So send me two packs, send me three packs. And uh, that's how I'm continuously earning money. And I, I even don't have to leave home because nowadays there is self-border and self-border really simplifies everything all i have to do is i carry my product put it very close to town and then uh, i make a phone call as uh, initiate a delivery on my self-border app the self-border picks the package and delivers the customer and the customer makes the payment on my mobile money so so you need to become lockdown proof okay there, there are a lot of challenges out there and you cannot keep going to look for customers uh, all around the Kampala when you can actually reach, reach customers. You know, I, I usually get a lot of people say, but it's costly. You would spend a lot of money on advertisements. But you see, if you're running a business, you're incurring a cost. It doesn't really matter how you incur it. That advertising and marketing cost will always be there. Okay. So you either decide to hire people to move your product around the city or you pay Mark. Mark shows your product to people and you can earn your income okay now you i know you have gotten a lot of value from this there's a lot that you i know that you have gotten from this training you can even go ahead and implement the things that i've shown you and do the research on your own right now and you can start earning your income in the first week of starting your own business i know i've done this uh, if, if somebody had taught me all the skills that i've shared in this training i know i would have started earning an income much 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 sooner probably as soon as i had started creating uh, and promoting my product i wouldn't have spent those days uh trying to sell uh, a product in the market and hustling and shouting at the top of my voice and getting people telling me ah so there are a lot of challenges sometimes you don't reach the right customers you cannot target like you do on facebook to reach a specific person who is likely to buy your product it becomes very 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 tricky so so now, thank you guys for attending this training. Now, um, for some of you, you probably might be saying, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten a lot of information from your training, uh, but I, I still don't really know how to, to get started. I don't know the steps that I need to take uh, to implement and, and get my business up and running. Now, 
I can really understand you. I can hear you. I'm preparing. Probably by the time you you're getting this 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 affordable training, I've already prepared uh, something. I've already prepared uh, a step by step uh, training that you can attend. Uh, my step by step masterclass that you can attend. And in that masterclass, I want to give you a step by step process, a step by step procedure from getting to zero shillings to uh, even a hundred thousand shillings in your first week or in your first month of starting your online business now this training might be available right now probably maybe it's not yet available because i'm in the process of making it maybe you want to know the step-by-step -step process that you can go through and take steps and how you do you create the advert what do you put in the advert how do you set up the advert on the facebook platform how do you get select which type of person that you want to, to reach and what what type of person is most likely to buy your product how do you create a good offer that can get people to buy without losing a lot of money how much do you need to spend on facebook how do you measure the amount of money that you need to spend on facebook in order to get results from your advertising processes how do you set up payments with your platform how do you stay compliant with facebook as a platform so that you do not get your account banned and all these things i will be covering them in that training the training might cost a little more than this uh, training this training that uh, uh, that you are attending currently right now it will probably cost between uh, and uh, 25 to 50000 but what if there was a way that you could take simple steps step by step and expedite your process get to where you want to get in less than 2 hours or 3 hours set up your business and you start start earning an income from your business in less than a week you don't have to go through the hassle of spending years like i spent 2 years trying to figure out the process and i i want to prepare this training here such that someone can use or create their business using just their smartphone <laughs> It's interesting, right? Just the smartphone. You just need your smartphone to create your business and uh, and start advertising and start getting in front of the people who are most likely to buy your products. Put a good offer in front of them and get them in and start earning your own online income and become uh, lockdown proof by by 2022. So if this is something that is really would really interest you, I invite you to send me a message or inbox me, send me a message and tell me, George, uh, is the training ready? Can I see it? George, if the training is available, could you please send me the link? And uh, and once I have received the payment, uh, probably between 25000 and 50000 once I've received the payment, I will give you the link which you can follow and go and learn everything. That, that masterclass will probably be two to five hours. So you'll be getting a lot more in that training i will show you the templates that i use the sms uh, the whatsapp messages uh, templates that i use to to communicate with my customers and how i upsell them to add more products to enable me to earn more money even on the initial purchase uh, when they come into my world and come into my community and how i continue to build relationships with them over and over again and so uh, they I, co I can continue to take care of them and uh, my customers continue to take care of me Please, 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 if this is something that interests you, please send me a message and I, I will send you the link to that training and you can start implementing the things that I will be sharing there and you can start earning your income. The training will be just something like twenty five to 50000 I don't want to make it expensive. You know, we are curr currently, when I'm, as of the time when I'm recording this training, the, we are experiencing a lot of challenges, challenges in the world with this current lockdown. And I really feel that people need to get this information and start earning their income online and stop moving on the streets and 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 trying to sell uh, shove their products in, in <laughs> at people's throats and and try and do it with a lot of ease do it with a lot of convenience do it at home do it in the comfort of their home uh, avoid the stresses of not having money at a time like this this is a very critical time this is a time when you need to have money in your bank account okay so if you want to achieve this freedom i'll prepare this training specifically for you this is a training for you it's very cheap go ahead and 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 send me an inbox inbox me on my whatsapp uh, i'll be including the numbers on this in this presentation please just send me a whatsapp okay Hit me up on WhatsApp and I'll send you a link to that training, that masterclass. Um, of course, uh, after the payment has been made and I have confirmed receipt of the payment, I will 
tasks give you access to that master class to probably be two hours to five hours and you will learn everything that you need to do step by step using just your phone just your smartphone and it doesn't really have to be a fancy phone just your smartphone and you can start earning your income instantly start make your first sale in your first month or your first week selling online okay if this is something that interests you please hit me up on my whatsapp guys thank you very much for coming over to this uh to, to watch this training i know it has been a lot of uh, information that i've shared in this training but i really do hope that you got a lot of value from it i do not want to give it uh, out at a pr at that price but uh uh, I felt that I needed to price it at something so that people can uh, can commit. You know, commitment is very important. It's very important for you to commit and take the steps, take the action that you need. The only person who can make a change in your life is you. Okay. Nobody else is going to get you the difference, the change in your life unless you take action. And you need to really take action now. This information, I'm telling you, this information took me years and years to acquire and put together and get. If, if somebody had taught me this on my first day of starting my online business, it would have been much, much easier. Jumia has been doing it for a long time now. They have acquired the skills and expertise. They, they have been everywhere. And <laughs> if I had the opportunity for somebody to teach me all the skills that I needed, to get my business up and running i would i would have spent even i don't know more much more than that millions and millions of shillings because it is something that has generated me an income i do not have to hustle i don't have to struggle i earn my small income at home no hustle uh, i i get enough time to spend with family uh, and i can continue to bond with people members of my family i don't have to be away i stay at home do the things that i love in the evenings when i want to i go out for an evening walk and i relax okay so these are things that you can only do when you're locked down proof. <laughs> if you're not locked down proof, you can't do that. Okay, you can't do all these things if you're not locked down proof. So thank you guys for coming over for this training. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, I know we have shared a lot of things in this training, but if you could go and implement everything that I've shared right now, go ahead and do research, buy some data bundles, uh, Freaky Friday, use Freaky Friday, get some information from internet, WhatsApp, um, things like that. Please, 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 please do research and implement the things that I've shared here and you will be on your way to becoming lockdown proof. Thank you very much.